2024 really should be declared the year of the woman in Toronto sports. PWHL Toronto kicking off their league's inaugural hockey season on New Year's Day. And just last month, the WNBA awarding the city a new franchise. And not to be outdone this week, AFC Toronto revealing its identity as it kicks, gets set to kick off their first soccer season in Northern Super League in 2025. Very exciting news. Joining us today to talk more about the team are two of its co-founders, Helena Rukin and Jill Bergen. Thank you so much to the both of you for joining. Thanks Thank for having us. 2024, more like every year should be year of the woman because there's so much excitement around sports right now and female sports and how it is continuing to grow. For those who are not familiar, let's talk about the Northern Super League and what it involves before we get into the team. So I don't know, Jill or Helena, who would like to take this one? Take I, could, one. I okay, can speak Helena. to that. So um, Diana Madison brought all of us together, mm -hmm. all the clubs from Halifax, Montreal, Ottawa, us in Toronto, Calgary, and Vancouver. And um, yeah, we all came together and we built this league, the Northern Super League together. That's what we've been di busy doing for the last year. And um, we're so excited to launch uh, next April. Next April. So we know the when. Now we also know the look. And you've got a sweater on your lap there, Helen, if you wouldn't mind holding it up. And Jill, if you could describe, because this emblem, this logo has a lot of significance. Yes, it does. And we actually um, started this process over a year ago when the founders came together because we wanted to make sure that we were starting, when we started from scratch, we'd be able to get what, uh, what, why we're doing what we're doing embedded into our logo. So working with a design agency, uh, we came to... Uh, to start here in the center, really, is our T. And the T stands for Toronto, of mm -hmm. course. And the bold angles shooting upwards signify forward momentum and energy because we really believe there's a lot of forward momentum that we need to, that we're going to be bringing to the sporting environment in Toronto. Here on the other side, it's propped up by the um, mirrored sevens. The sevens stand for two things. Our seven founders, the original founding members, two of whom are Helena and myself, and also representing our community, which is the six original boroughs of Toronto, plus the GTA, which sort of signifies our community. So then moving out from the center, we, we come into their unbounded logo. It's a shield development, but we, don't ha we didn't want to have a traditional shield where it was all closed in. We wanted to be unbounded and show how we can reach outside of the norm in the sporting environment. Mm -hmm. Down here is our grassroots supporter base and our community that we feed from into our tea. And then the top here is just, is just covering up the, the rest of, or um, fi filling out the rest of the, um, the shield. Then at the very edges, we have Association Football Club in Toronto. AFC Toronto is really what we're going to be ending up um, using for the most part. But AFC stands for also change, courage, celebration, and commitment. And then finally, our year, inaugural year of our play is 2025. As you are describing this, I can see people, you know, zooming in and thinking, I'm going to want to get my hands on one of these sweaters or on any of the apparel. Um, on top of that, people are wanting to get, get their hands on tickets. Eventually, we know, April 2025, do we have a venue yet? We have a lot of very good plans, um, lots of good options. Uh, we're not quite ready to announce that yet, um, but we will um, later this year. That's fair. And there's excitement around players. You know, what is the goal for who you want to play? Um, the style of play? What is the strategy of the team? I guess a lot of it goes into the uh, what you described in the logo and what you represent. But when you're looking for your players, who do you want them to be? Yeah, so I think from a player perspective, we're looking for obviously excellence on the playing field and authenticity are the two things that we really want to work on and sort of bringing out our players. Um, we know that we have one of the, we have the third largest player pool for soccer talent in the world. So we have a, a, a large base of wonderful players with excellent skills. But what I'm most interested from a marketing perspective is the storytelling behind those players and really getting to know why they're doing what they're doing and how they can represent themselves to our supporters because we know that Seeing it is, to be able to see it is to believe that you can also do it. Mm -hmm. And so we want to make sure that our, our grassroots and, and the, uh, the girls and women that are coming up through their programs now can see something that they can relate to. So that's one of the things that we are really excited about bringing forward when we can finally start to talk about our players. I love that. And also for the young little boys to watch the women players as well. Also, yeah, yeah I think it's really important um, that we are building, I want, 
I want the next generation of athletes to never know there was a time when women couldn't play professional sports. And I want them to grow up that it's natural and normal for a woman or a girl to want to dream to be a professional s soccer player in Canada. And that's, that we're filling a hole that's been there for a really long time. Yeah, a major gap. Where can people find out more in the meantime? I know a lot of announcements will be in the coming days, weeks to come. Where can people head to to maybe even check those out? Right. <laughs> so um, from a merchandise perspective and from getting to know more about us, you can always visit AFC Can afctoronto.ca. That's our website, and you can sign up to get merch. And unfortunately, you won't be able to get this merch because this is one of a kind and is only available on a very limited basis. And we really are very thankful to one of our actual personal, uh, personal investor, Kathy Chang from Redwood Classics Merchandise, who um, came forward and supplied us with our limited edition merchandise for, the, for our launch. Love it. Okay, Jill, Helena, looking forward to learning more. And you will come back when there's more news to share, yes? We're, we're, we're looking forward to it. Yeah. Beautiful. Thanks Thank so you much. so much for joining. Thank you.